We're unveiling the Sunflyer solar electric flight training aircraft. And as you can see behind me here, it's a beautiful aircraft, very, very sleek, but fundamental in the disruptive technology that's being applied here is it's all electric. Electric propulsion allows the airplane to be aerodynamically much, much more efficient, lightweight composite structure, of course, but the key with electric propulsion is that we're getting our costs down to about one dollar per flight hour of energy used. That literally is going to pioneer a new generation of aircraft. Conventional Avgas aircraft, the legacy fleet, average maybe 45 years old, 40 years old or so. The cost of aviation gasoline per flight hour uh, is prohibitive. You know, 35 to 50 dollars of aviation gasoline makes flying an expensive proposition. So by adding the efficiency, lowering the cost, we think we're going to revitalize interest in the aviation industry that we all love so much. This is our first prototype. We have three aircraft over time that we're going to be doing. This aircraft will be our initial flight test, start the program off this summer. We should be flying mid to late summer or so with this aircraft, depending on you know, how flight test progresses. Some variables there clearly, but over the next two to three years, we'll go through the FAA certification process and begin production in about two to three years. We think you know, we're gonna have a production entry and orientation towards flight training to begin with. This aircraft really is designed to be a flight trainer. And in terms of production and the production numbers, our partners in the flight training industry will kind of be the point of entry for the aviation industry use of this technology. We fly for about three hours initially. So a flight training sortie with a roughly 1.2 to 1.5 hour training requirement is ideal. As the next generation of battery technology and we add additional batteries to the airplane, then we'll begin to see a little bit more of a transition to private pilots, which will be able to enjoy a four or five hour flight. Certainly in the next five to 10 years, we'll be much, much more familiar with electric aviation. 10 to 20 years, I think, the legacy fleet of internal combustion engines will begin to noticeably diminish as electric aviation replaces them. Just like automobiles, we'll begin to see more and more of them over the next 5, 10, and 20 years.